as a beginner trader those are the first thing you need to learn and learn properly before you learn any other strategy now the thing about that strategy is that regardless of every strategy you subscribe to in the market it will always override that strategy what i left out would always override that strategy you subscribe to right so what do i mean it means that whether you are a support and resistance trader whether you are a smart money trader whether you use some indicators whether you use some moving averages right anytime that thing plays out in the market when perhaps your 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 um bias right or your moving average is telling you that that thing is going to the market is going to go bullish and then that thing that i left out which i'm about to teach you is perhaps indicating a bearish the market will actually go bearish and anytime your strategy says that the market is going to go bearish and that thing that i left out indicates that the market is actually going to go bullish the market will indeed go bullish it means that it has about 99 percent accuracy right and then chances of failure is very minimal now the only drawdown is that you don't see it happening in the market as often as possible it comes in once in a while so once it comes in once in a while you know that is what actually going to play out that is why it has that high probability now knowing and learning them is one thing theoretically and then being able to identify them on the market is also another thing right so like i said knowing and learning them is one thing and being able to identify them practically on the market is another thing as well what do i mean by that right because what i am trying to tell you is that every beginner trader needs to start learning from the market strategy wise from understanding chart patterns that is that thing you need to know chart patterns you need to be able to learn them right so i am going to teach you my five main chart pattern that i believe that is a prerequisite right that i believe that is a prerequisite for every beginner trader to learn right so why i said that learning the theory is one thing and being able to identify it is also another thing is that some people do not necessarily have uh, photogenic memory so people that have artistic memory are easy to are easily able to identify chat patterns but it doesn't mean that if you do not have artistic memory you shouldn't prioritize learning chat patterns right so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you like I said five main important chat patterns that as a beginner trader you need to thoroughly focus on keep them in memory and be able to what, strive to identify them when you see them on the market you need this foundation before you go on to learn any other strategy period period you need to learn them before you go ahead to learn any other strategy so without wasting much time i am going to go into the chart tell you the five main chart patterns that are prioritized and help you identify them then you need to go on to learn it before you learn any other strategy so let's go right into the chart and i'll identify my five main important chart patterns for you guys yeah guys so like i told you the most important thing or perhaps a strategy that's as a beginner trader or even an advanced trader you should learn is the chart patterns right regardless of any strategy you use like i told you in the introductory the chart patterns seem to override whatever setup you have if it goes in contrary to what the chart pattern says. So it is keen for every trader to give the most of their priority to understanding these chart patterns, right? Now, it is one thing to learn these patterns and then it is another thing to also be able to recognize them when you see them. So to not waste much time, I'm gonna list my five most important chart patterns that I always look for, or perhaps when I come across them on the, on the market, I give enough priority to, right? So I'm going to list them right here. Number one of it is the head and shoulder pattern. Then number two is the inverse head and shoulder. Then number three we have the rising wedge we have the rising wedge pattern then number four we have the falling wedge pattern and then number five we have the 
triangle pattern. So these are my five main chart patterns that I believe that every beginner or even an advanced trader who doesn't know this yet should be able to know. So without wasting my time, I'll go through the chart, try to identify some of these patterns and then help you to be able to process your mind in terms of looking out for them and then how you can be able to trade them as well if you see them on the market. So let's start with the head and shoulder first, right? The first example I can get from the head and shoulder is a scenario that quite recently played out in gold, right? So if you look at gold, right, a couple of um, weeks back, let's see how it loads quickly. Yeah, so a couple of weeks back, if you look at gold, around um, the 1900 area, right, we can see here, looking at it from the two hour time frame, right? So now, before anything else, let me even decide, let me even let me even um, draw out these chart patterns, how it looks like, and then how you can be able to like uh, resonate with them if you see them on the market as well, right? So with all the patterns that we've listed, let's see how we can be able to identify them or how they look like on the chart when we see them. So the, so the head and shoulder pattern would look something like this, where you have what, the left shoulder, which builds back into like the support level, the right shoulder which takes out the last high that was created here then we have um, so so we have the left shoulder excuse me then we have the head right the head comes into like the base here which which some people call the neckline then we have the right shoulder right which also comes down into this point so for the most part what most people would rather do is kind of trade the breakout of this head and shoulder pattern right they, they would wait for the neckline here to break out, then they look to what? To sell this market down. But the way I, I analyze my market in terms of sniper entry, catching trades at the, at the very beginning or very turning point of the market allows me to be able to get in on this area right here if I spot a head and shoulder pattern. Now, the second one is the head and shoulder inverse kind of looks similar to the head and shoulder just that this time it is an inverse form of it so we have again the left shoulder which kind of trades downwards comes back into the neckline we have the head which which takes out this last low here which builds up again onto the neckline and then we have the right shoulder so again most people will rather trade the inverse head and shoulder in expectation of that breakout from that neckline right so most people would rather wait to see the neckline out here get taken out and then they are looking what to buy that breakout but like i said with the way i analyze the market and what i teach my students it is very easy for us to spot that entry right here rather than waiting for that breakout around this area so it will do you good to be able to learn a strategy that allows you to be able to get in because for the most part big players big organizations or the 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 um banks central banks and then all these big institutions that control the financial market know that the most basic kind of strategy that most beginners understand or resonate with when it comes to um, trading the market is head and shoulders so there's so much manipulation that you really go on around the neck area if you're trying to take a trade around the neckline then there's so much possibility of being manipulated then the third one we have the rising wedge right so the rising wedge specifically would usually have a market that would um, start necessarily from like a bearish trend right so once we have that bearish trend then we can have a zigzag move in the opposite direction of that initial trend so here we assume that what this is a wedge which is kind of rising right that's the whole idea we have this wedge right here that is sort of what rising then for a rising wedge you can have like a breakout in continuation of the prior trend which is the downtrend right again that is how we trade the uh, that is how it, it, the rising wedge is represented most people like i said would rather trade a rising wedge expecting that breakout here before they sell but with what i teach my students we can be able to get in again at the very top of that rising wedge before um, it even breaks that um, support area right there where a lot of people will get trapped within this range right again next next to the rising wedge then we have what the um falling 
the falling wedge pattern so the falling wedge typically you're also going to see it in the bullish market where we have like the market rally up like this then it start trading again in a zigzag manner so again it is being represented like what a wedge this time being on the downtrend right so we have like the falling wedge this way and then you, you typically kind of see the breakout of the falling wedge on the upside like this if it is already in a in a bullish market so it's just what the market taking a breather for a continuation in the in the trend it has started already so like i said again with a falling wedge you have a lot of people actually looking for a buy after the breakout from this wedge but with a system and place where we, how we trade we can be able to spot that buy here before they, that breakout even occurs which is what i think uh, most uh, will be most favorable in terms of trading chat patterns right being able to get in having that knowledge that allows you to be able to get in very early into the market before um, any manipulation uh, occurs right then the last one has to do with the triangle pattern right so the triangle pattern has similar representation like the way we have the wedge and then the head and shoulder right so the triangle pattern you would have the market perhaps with me the way i look at it is that if we have like a bearish market and then we form more like a triangle which it kind of looks something like this then i kind of expect a continuation of that triangle onto the downside but if we have a bullish market and then we form like that triangle then you can guess ahead what i'll be looking out for i'll be looking for a continuation of that triangle pattern on the upside so that's how i look at my triangle pattern but it doesn't mean that all the time the triangle pattern is follows this this formation sometimes there's a fake out where in the sense that you could have a triangle pattern like let's say maybe a bullish triangle pattern forms like this and then where everybody's anticipating that the market is going to rally up you totally have that market what continuing down so that those are very rare occasions where such things occur right so nonetheless uh, this is more like a, a, a theoretical aspect of representation of the chart patterns so um as 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 far as nothing in terms of trading is a hundred percent which is like no no holy grail in terms of any strategy at all then we have room for uh, sometimes the market uh, bidding us wrong in terms of the directional anticipation we have for any currency pair right so not to waste much time already then let's go into the chart and identify some of these uh, patterns that I've outlined here and then how as a trader you can be able to like uh, think through and then perhaps find a trade when you see some so starting off with the head and shoulder right I have one head and typical head and shoulder pattern that kind of recently occurred in gold right if you look at gold now you must also understand that the theoretical pictures you see about these chart patterns is not how you're going to see them all the time on the chart because uh, there's no perfect perfect painting that goes on the chart so you must understand that as well right so here we kind of have this um left shoulder here which comes into this kind of um support area where we, we would regard as a, the neckline right and then we have what the head here which comes to take out this high here and then you can see that this neckline doesn't uh this market doesn't trade into the neckline which would have been the resistance so that's how unperfect chart patterns can be right and then we have like the right shoulder here so the right shoulder here right is the is the keen entry point if you couldn't get in on the at the head right so typically it is very rare for you to find a trader being able to get in on that um head because perhaps you do not even know except they're using like a different confluence like if their confluence come from head and shoulder pattern it's unlikely that they can be able to get in from that head but but if we have the neck the left shoulder being built the head and then we come into the right shoulder remember that the left shoulder and right shoulder kind of have a resistance already established so that is what can provide a keen entry point for any trader that kind of looks out for what chart patterns and then this would be a very legit trade to sell gold on the downside so yeah that's how i'll identify the head and shoulder now let's look at the head and shoulder inverse i think i have one example of that when we look into euro japanese yen right so head and shoulder inverse we can identify some around um let's go into the four hour time frame so around um 
here, right around this area in the market. Again, you can see what that nice representation going on here. We have, um, perhaps you may have seen that already, the left shoulder, we have the head here. So this is like a perfect head and shoulder pattern. And then the right shoulder, right? And then, like I said, you'd have most people trying to buy here for that breakout, right? After we have established that, that um, neckline, you find a lot of retail to the jumping here for the buy. But with what I've taught you or with how you have seen the market, you can see that exactly that we have like a resistance already established on that right shoulder. So it kind of allows you to be able to get in right on time if you know exactly what you are looking out for and then rather than waiting for that breakout here to buy you could already be in your trade around this era or around this specific area for um the inverse head and shoulder pattern now let's go on to the the rising wedge and the falling wedge pattern i think i have an example like that from gold as well right when it comes to the rising the rising wedge or perhaps the falling wedge right so let's look at something i think that formation was on the daily for gold right and it happened a long time ago so i'm kind of going to back test all the way into this market to show you that formation as well sticking us a little bit yeah so here we have like that rising wedge that i that i just spoke about right so here is how you identify the rising wedge um we have what the market already in a bullish movement and then you can now spot what that wedge pattern right here right so you see we have what the bullish market the wedge and then what a continuation so typically i would find my entry around this resistance i mean around this support area right here if i spot a rising wedge right so not to even go so far within this rising wedge we had what a very nice falling wedge structure as well how did that okay that was very interesting around this era when i was trading go do right so let's quickly go back into that area and let me show you how that falling wedge also looked like i missed we finding that rising wedge pattern right so um quickly scrolling all the way back into gold around that same era Yeah, so around the same era, I missed this rising wedge thing that was going on. Now you can also spot again that what we have was very interesting falling wedge here in the market. So that's how beautiful this market can paint a perfect picture for us, right? So with this falling wedge, what do we observe? A bearish market, a pullback in that wedge structure, and what a continuation down so typically where do you think i'm going to find my entry at the very top of that wedge structure which comes in around this area right yeah so that is the example for a rising wedge and a falling wedge now let's look at the triangle pattern the most recent triangle pattern i gave it out on instagram which occurred i think uh just um as of yesterday and today as i'm shooting this video is 29 so 28 i gave that 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 trade setup out and I, and I told a lot of people that chart patterns is very powerful once you spot them in the market it provides you an incredible opportunity to make a lot of money as well so let's look at how gold literally played out when it comes to um, the chart pattern that it formed with that with respect to what the triangle pattern right so quickly scrolling all the way back up now you can see that what with this triangle pattern like i already explained we had what a bearish triangle con uh, now the consolidate the bearish market a consolidation the triangle and then a breakout from that triangle so what do you see we have what a bearish market a triangle formation and a continuation so i'm going to put somewhere in the video where when i was telling people about how this market was going to break down here and then this can be like a very insane opportunity perhaps a life-changing trade for most traders because this trade made as much as what 270 pips or 260 pips if i'm not right if i'm if i'm very right from the breakout right so 260 pips on gold is such a huge movement that a lot of people could have made incredible money so this this is a scenario or this is an example of um, um, um a bearish triangle right we can look quickly into the bullish one i think a, a typical example that i have for that comes in on um pound japanese yen right so you can see here we have series of that triangle formation right look at this we have um we have here 
a bullish market a triangle formation right here and then a breakout on the upside again we have a bullish market a triangle formation here and then a breakout now like i told you as unperfect as anything is right where you do not have like a hundred percent probability of everything occurring in the same structure that was occurring gbp jpy you can observe around here that we have a classical wedge structure which was more like a falling wedge but this time what do you observe the market manipulated like i told you a lot of people that would have tried jumping in a breakout here like people that see this as okay we have this uh wedge structure right the bullish zigzag falling wedge and then perhaps they anticipate a, a breakout from here now you saw that everybody that tried to jump in here obviously got cap but if you were anticipating what a reaction around the base before a continuation which is like what i would usually do in terms of trading right finding that entry around here then obviously you're not going to fall into this kind of trap even if the chart pattern decides to fail yeah so i think this one gives you a very thorough in-depth understanding of how i read chart patterns on the market when they come by if you like this video you know what to do smash the like button share with your friends share it in all your group chats and stuff like that also be sure to follow me on all social media k-o-j-o-f-o-r-e-x kojo forex and i barely do much of instagram i mean i barely do much of uh, facebook so uh, if you want to message me personally then it has to be through instagram it's only kojo forex also if you're not part of the uh the kojo forex telegram community make sure to click in the link in the description to join the telegram community these days i'll be doing more educational content posting video setups trades that i'm looking at my watch list and then it can be able to benefit you as well as dropping free trades in the v in the in the um, community as well so without wasting much time i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out